I'm a bit late in getting this review recorded. Actually, I'm really late. I watched the May episode of Hulu's Into the Dark. It's called All That We Destroy at the very beginning of May. And now as this recording, I mean, we're already into June and I'm just sitting down to record it. Eh, what are you gonna do? You know, life. The Into the Dark series is a horror anthology on Hulu brought to us by Blumhouse. Now, in this latest episode, it really plays out more like a Black Mirror episode than anything else. The basic premise is that the story takes place in a vague future. We don't really know how much further into the future, but just based on some of the tech that we see, it's near future. And there is a scientist mom who really loves her son, but her son is just kind of not right in the head. She makes an effort to help socialize him and to really to ha get him to a place where he can interact with society. So what she does is she has this clone of a woman that she keeps cloning for him. The problem is though, that he keeps killing her. Israel Broussard from Happy Death Day plays the unhinged and just mentally unstable son. He is dark, twisted, and full of this unanswered rage, and we don't also totally know why. And maybe that's better. Maybe it's good that it's not totally answered because it lends itself to a little bit more creepiness than if he had some kind of total motivation to be doing so. But throughout this, his mom truly believes she can cure him. Samantha Mathis plays the mom, and they have like this really weird and strained relationship, I guess as you could imagine, because if the son is just unhinged and he keeps murdering this clone, that, I mean, there's obviously something not right, but you see her love for him regardless, and it comes through in her actions. You really begin to feel for the clone. I mean, she is played by Aurora Paranow, and she has this sadness that she conveys in her eyes, and it's very convincing. I mean, that she does a super good job of just, of bringing this, not quite knowing, but this, this unknowing fear almost, like something's not right and she understands that, even though she's a clone of a human being. There is this neighbor girl who comes into play and she's comically bad. I mean, it was like overacting to the nth degree. It was really weird and it was very off-putting at the beginning. She began to grow on me just a little bit, but certainly at the beginning, I'm like, are you serious that you're really acting this way? I mean, this is this is how your character, it's not like the character is, is like this big personality. It was just, the actor was, it was just weird. I don't even know how to describe it other than just completely overacting and not matching any of the other surroundings. A weird character inclusion in this is Frank Wally. Now he does a great job, but his character is completely useless. I mean, there's no twist to him. There's no real need at all for him. So it just, I found it odd that they even included him because all it did was really serve as this, this plot device where the mom could speak with Frank Wally to discuss things, but you, she could have done that just to herself. I mean, it could have been a monologue. It could have been a diary, anything like that. And it didn't really do anything other than as a sounding board for the mom to kind of bounce her ideas off of. And he didn't even, you know, just give anything good back. I mean, literally just listened, injected a little bit here and there, but it didn't change the story. The story poses moral questions about how far love goes. And I like that they didn't answer it, that they left it ambiguous and up to the audience to really decide and interpret. All That We Destroy is more violent than I expected, but it's not really shocking in today's society. I mean, it's not like this over the top gore fest or anything like that. It was just, I didn't expect the violence that we saw, which we got. Overall, the film is fine. I mean, it's a fun watch. It's fairly engaging. It's just not very memorable. If you've been following and watching the Into the Dark anthology, this one kind of sits right in the middle as far as quality goes. It's certainly not the worst one, but it's not the best also. There's no sex, brief nudity, a lot of violence, and profanity. I give All That We Destroy three and a half out of five couches. If you could clone somebody, would you? And who would it be? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.